Hello, you beautiful people. Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, no, if you are no, if you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on because you don't miss any of my future videos. I'm uploading so much recently. It is normally Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But we have so much Christmas and Halloween content. I'm just uploading as much as I physically can without getting burnt out. So as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title today, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Revolution and Game of Thrones Winter is Coming Christmas gift set. I can't tell you... Oh God, my contact lens is going funny. I can't tell you all of the prices for this one because it's. I can't get my document to open um, where it says all the prices and stuff. So I, unfortunately, I can't tell you all of the different prices but this does retail for £25 you get a palette inside it, a fixing spray, a lip gloss and a pair of lashes which I think is really really good for £25 especially for a license as well so yeah this is just what it looks like and then when you open it up inside this is what the inside looks like Oop. <laughs> so as you all know by now I do have a discount code for Revolutions UK, US and Australian website if you use the code LUCE20, L-U-C-E 20 you will get 20% off and help to save some pennies so obviously with this you would get it for £20 instead of £25 that soon adds up like that is an unbelievable saving on a product that is already really good value to begin with so mad props to Revolution for giving us a discount code I don't make any money from it you all know the drill it just helps to save us some pounds, some pennies. But yeah, this is what the bad boy, oh, sugar, bad boy looks like. So we have the palette, and then inside we have nine shades, and we have one, two, three, four mattes, and then the rest are shimmers. And then this is what it looks like up close. Oh my god, I realised as well, I haven't actually showed you my Halloween nails. Oh my god, these are my Halloween nails. I've got some cobwebs, some stars, some cute little bats. Yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with them. And I'm really excited because this finally came. So I have the Game of Thrones sponge from the collection that they've done. So obviously they've done a collection, they've done an advent calendar, and they've done this gift set and another gift set, which I'll definitely be doing a review on. But yeah, I'm going to try this today because I'm obsessed. Obviously this is the little Game of Thrones makeup sponge with the little sponge holder. That's like a little iron throne. And then this is just what it looks like up close. And I will leave all of my Game of Thrones videos linked down below. The Advent Calendar unboxing, which is generally one of the best Advent Calendars I've ever unboxed, ever. Like, point blank, ever. You need to go watch that video as well. I will be doing a video as well, testing all the products in the Advent Calendar. Um, yeah, really excited. Let's just get straight into it. So obviously we have the palette. We also have the fixing spray, which is a full-size one, by the way. This one is 100ml fixing spray. Should we have a little sniff test, see if it smells of anything? Ooh, it smells really, really, like, really refreshing. It smells like a, like a lemony, like fruity, like refreshing kind of smell. I wonder if it says online what it's meant to smell like, because you know I'm not really good at describing scents. But yeah, it doesn't say anything in the copy about what it smells like. It just says ultimate fix and spray to lock in your look. But let's just go by my word for it, but it probably smells something completely different. But I get like a, like a fruity, fresh, refreshing vibe to it. It smells like a certain fruit, but I don't know what, what it is. I'm really bad at stuff like that, I do apologise. Then we have a pair of lashes. And this is just what the lashes look like. And then last but not least, we have the Winter Is Coming Shimmer Bomb Lip Gloss, which looks stunning. I really, really like the Shimmer Bombs. This is just what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. So if you actually divided it up for the £25 price tag across the four products that are in here, each product would be worth £6.25p. But obviously if you did it so you divided it across the £20, if you use my discount code, each product would be worth £5. And I personally think that's amazing, like £5 for a palette, £5 for a lip gloss, £5 for a pair of lashes, and then £5 for a full-size fixing spray. By the way, is anyone else absolutely hard boxes? Like, I will definitely try to, like, make my use out of this somewhere. Like, organise a drawer with it or something. And I always, like, use the other one, like, the lid, to organise stuff as well. I'm so bad for it. Like, I'm, I have so many above my wardrobe, so many, like, postage boxes that I've hoarded just in case I need to send a parcel to somebody. I've sent so much to the recycling, but I'm just, I just hoard it. I don't know why. <laughs> 
I will say as well, I noticed on my Game of Thrones advent calendar unboxing that some of the names on the palette didn't match the actual house of the palette. Obviously, I've never watched Game of Thrones, haven't got a clue. If you didn't tell me, we'd never have had a clue. So thank you so much for telling me. Please let me know, do these match the Winter is Coming thing? I'm going to pop on some of my Super Base primer. I've been absolutely loving this primer, just the Revolution, Create a Revolution one. So I'm going to take a I Heart Revolution brush. This is from the Elf brush set from last year, like last Christmas. And that hair is going to annoy me. Get out of the brush. So taking that angled brush, we're going to go in with, I'm assuming it's called Dawn, 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 Dawn. You know I'm not good at this stuff anyway, but I'm going to go in with this this colour here, and I'm going to apply this on. Ooh, that's a really nice colour on the outer part of the lid. I will say there is quite a lot of kickback with this shade. You all know that doesn't bother me, never has bothered me. I just literally blow it away, but I always like to mention it just in case it bothers one of you guys. So yeah, I'm just kind of doing like a winged out moment i'm going to put it right through the front of the eye as well okay so now that my eyes are looking a little something like this by the way as well if you've had any comments from somebody saying like you've won my giveaway add me on telegram this is my name lou stevenson blah, blah 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 ignore it it's not me it's a spam i banned them from comment anymore i've removed as many comments as I, as I possibly could find but yeah please just ignore it but anyway i'm going to go in with wild ling this blue here and I'm taking just a brush that you get in like the Anastasia palette and I forgot to say so there's a little mirror so I'm just going to use that colour to diffuse out this blue. Oh my god I'm obsessed, absolutely obsessed with how that's turned out. I feel like I could have done with like another darker blue in the palette just to really really deepen up this bit but I don't really feel like it's a necessity I just think it would have complemented it really well but we have like quite a few different options for shim shims I'm gonna definitely go in with this lighter one as my like inner corner one because that is oh, perfection but then we have oh we have sky door which I think I'm actually going with that one so sky door actually looks darker there than it does on my hand or maybe it actually is that dark but it's just got that really really light reflectingness to it so yeah i think we're gonna go with that one because the one that we have is like a purple one then we have like a silver and then this one is like a nude one which i don't really feel like it makes much sense but hey ho just so i'm trying to use some more of the colors i'm gonna go in with a Bew bell brush which just looks like this and i'm gonna go in with the shade westerland westerland which is the white like a creamy white in the palette. I'm just doing this just to use it, but I'm just going to lightly run this just around the edge of that blue, that really light blue. Okay, so let's go in with Sky Door. I'm so excited to put this on. It's like so much better swatch. I thought it was going to be quite dark. Oh, that is stunning. I'd love to know what you've been loving the most. Like, have you been loving? Game of Thrones more or Beetlejuice more or are you more excited for Coraline because that will be coming very very soon very very soon oh my god that shimmer is beautiful I'm going to go back in with that darker colour and just use that to blend it into the shimmer someone please tell me to wash my makeup brushes because I am running so low I'm going to go in with that icy light shade wow and put that in the inner corner wow jeez under there should i just put a little bit on the lid just a little bit just just a little bit just a tiny bit <laughs> that's beautiful that's called val valvian steel i don't know we tried oh my god didn't mean to put that much on but it's just that blinding I didn't really have much of a choice. Okay, so this is what the eye look is looking like. Just generally gobsmacked. <laughs> generally gobsmacked. I cannot wait to try this one. I'll give you a little sneaky preview. Don't tell anyone though, okay? It's a secret. <laughs> but no, this is what it looks like. So it has the three palettes and the three lipsticks in. And this one is the, when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or die gift set. <laughs> and the colors in this gift set, 
as sexy as a bit of me. That's all I'm saying, a bit of me. But yeah, I'm gonna pop on my base. I'm gonna try this bad boy as well. So this little sponge retails for six pound. Obviously you can use my discount code. If you do order anything from Revolution's website, if you can, please use my links down below because, oh my god, I'm dropping things. Um, obviously with my code, I don't earn any pennies off that. That is just generally for us to save some moolah. However, if you use my link, I do earn like a tiny, tiny percentage that all adds up and it just helps to further support my YouTube channel because obviously it is just a hobby for me. Um, and it means I'll be able to buy more makeup releases that aren't Revolution as well. So yeah, if you can, please use my link down below. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It just helps to get me in it for a few extra pennies to help to build up so that I can buy more makeup for more videos, basically for years. But yeah, this is what it looks like and it just sits on this little floor like this. <laughs> I can't go. <sighs> it's a little baby. Oh, dropping things. So that is six pounds. So yeah, let me put on my makeup and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've just popped on my base products. I have used like a Vive face palette, like a bronzer, blusher and highlighter thing. But I have also mixed some of the lightest shade, that one that was really like sparkly and like bright. I have also used a tiny little bit of that as a highlighter too. I thought that would just jazz it up. I wanted to try the shimmer one by itself because after that, I'm going to put on the black matte bomb from the Game of Thrones collection and I'm going to top it off with the shimmer bomb. So I want to show you what the shimmer bomb looks like without, obviously, the matte bomb underneath it. And then it has, obviously, the large applicator. Oh, honestly, if you've not tried Revolution's shimmer bombs, you need to. They are so beautiful, so, like, smooth. But, oh, my God, it's so shimmery as well. So, so shimmery. And then that is just what it looks like by itself. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. It's not sticky at all, it's really smooth. I honestly just absolutely love shimmer bombs. I just think they're really, really pretty, a really nice formula. And I'm gonna pop on the matte bomb, which obviously this one is the shade, that girl's name, it's one of the blonde hair, isn't it? I know that. <laughs> well done, Nancy. And then yeah, let's try this. Oh. Beautiful, it smells really nice this as well. I'm gonna try and be brave and do it without a lip liner. Wish me luck. I actually really, really like this black um, liquid lipstick. It's taken ages to dry down, but it's good because it's given me so much more movement to like really like sort out the lines. And considering I haven't used a lip liner, I'm really, really happy with that. So I'm gonna go in with the lip gloss on top and I'm gonna basically put it onto the back of my hand because I don't want to make the inside of this all black. So I'll just pop some, oh, I can see how sparkly it is, on the back of my hand. I'm just going to use a lip brush. I use this brush as well to help to smooth out my lines for the matte bomb. And let's pop this on top. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is what the lip looks like. Oh my god, it's absolutely stunning. I don't even feel like the like my camera is picking it up how beautiful it looks. This would be stunning for Halloween. I, I do feel like the matte bombs are just a little bit too matte. I don't sound stupid because it's a matte bomb. Just a little bit too matte for my lips but with that gloss on top. Ooh, I, put, I put too much gloss on. I got too excited. But yeah absolutely obsessed obsessed so i'm gonna go in with the fix and spray now because i've put quite a lot of powder on my face and then i will pop on the lashes which i'm really excited to try so so this is the full size fix and spray oh, oh my god it smells so refreshing so refreshing and i'm just gonna let that dry on my face so it called it like the ultimate fix and spray so um, now that is all dry you see how it's kind of helped to fuse everything together i don't feel as like multiple layers of powder as what i felt before it just helps to like fuse it all together and then let's go in with the lashes so i'm going to pop the lashes on i'll also put the same matte colors underneath my eyes as well and i'll put my brows on and i'll show you what they look like i don't know if you can see at all but they have like a double 
layer to them. So this is the finished look. I would love to know what you think down below. I am honestly really impressed with this gift set for £25. For each item to be like £6, I think it was £6.25, or if you buy it with my discount code, each item will be £5 each. I think it's a really, really good gift set, especially if somebody is really into Game of Thrones or if they like their blue eyeshadow. I'm going to do just a little quick product roundup. So as for the actual palette, like I said, there was quite a bit of um, fallout, a bit of kickback. Doesn't really bother me, never really bothers me, but just in case it bothers you, I thought I'd let you know. But yeah, really impressed with the quality. The quality was really good. Shimmers applied really easily. That inner corner shimmer blew my mind, like absolutely blew my mind. The lashes are really, really pretty. I don't think you can actually see. But this is just what the lashes look like, look like, look like. They are like just kind of like light and wispy, especially if you're not really somebody who's like massively into lashes. Like these ones are really, really pretty. They do have a black lash line so I personally would have to put like a little line of um, eyeliner on even just like a thin one it doesn't have to be a wing just to make these apply so much nicer but to be honest with you they've actually applied really nice considering it is like a black lash line anyways the sponge I don't know how I feel about this I think I would prefer it dry I wish in the end I didn't wet it yeah for that for the future I will just use that dry because I think I think I just prefer dry sponges recently. Fix and spray it smells unbelievable. It is definitely one more of like a formula that helps like fuse your makeup together. It kind of help if you look a little bit too powdery. This would be really good for that. I love that it's a full size one. I think that's banging. Um, obviously the shimmer bomb. You don't know I love shimmer bomb. Have put it on top of the obviously the matte bomb. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful combination. But yeah, if you're looking for like a really, really sparkly lip gloss, I'd really recommend the whole like shimmer bomb range from Revolution. But yeah, I think that is absolutely everything. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your thoughts are of this gift set. I hopefully will see you in another video tomorrow. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you to my patrons for being so supportive. It is a pound a month if you'd like to join my Patreon community. And it's just basically another way of helping to support my YouTube little journey hobby. So yeah, thank you so much if you do join and become part of the little family. We do meetups. We also have a chat that we're all talking all day. Yeah, absolutely love it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you in a new video tomorrow. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.